I have a little bit of familiarity with how the Lee Chess import works. This probably isn't too hard to get implemented. Um, so let's hop on over. Get check out master. Um, whoops. Okay, update my project, compile and run it, etc. Uh, well, that's going. Wait, do we actually get a response to something? Oh. Okay, whatever. I can't reproduce this because UI package JSON already specifies a version of Ant D that should already include the fit. Well, yes. Okay, some other developer is going to help me through that because this developer doesn't know the deployment infrastructure well enough to guide me through a completely new from scratch install that uses only the things that are already available in Docker Hub. Um, one would think that setting up a new machine would be something that, anyway, I did not explain myself there very well, so, um, I suppose I could demonstrate to them that here I've completely blown away everything on my machine, and here I am from a completely new machine doing this, but probably if I just pose the question a bit differently, saying, yeah, um, that's great, but how do I get that update? <laughs> um. No, I'm sorry. I could actually argue this with them. Um, Leewards UI package JSON already. Yes. Oh, this developer doesn't know that I'm new to the project. Okay. That's their issue. Um. They didn't read this. Okay, how do I obtain that latest image? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was my question, I guess. It's like, if this has been fixed, how do I get the fix? Alright, so, we downloaded all those updates. Um, where is it? Ace? No, I'm sorry, I can't search a fork here, because GitHub doesn't work. Um, modules. I think it's one of these modules. I thought it was a game import. So I think it was... No, game doesn't seem right. Game is not right. Um, importer. Importer does the importing. Importer.scala. So that needs to change. And then everything that references that needs to change too. Um, but uh, I wouldn't presume this to be too difficult. Um, Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to stop my Docker image and manually start up Redis and uh, the other server. Forgot about this. Um, so, sudo service docker stop. So, something like that. Um, 
I don't remember how to check. Well, okay, I have an idea how to check if the port's already in use. Um, to check that, we just open up Pale Moon. No, Pale Moon's overkill for this, actually. Uh, wait. We words.localhost. No response. That's how we know the port's not in use. Uh, yeah, that also is the easier way. Just use Telnet. Port 80 is not in use. Pseudo service. Redis server start. There we go. We've got Redis up and running. Wait. Pseudo system CTL enable Redis server. Uh, it's masked. All right. I must have uninstalled this in an aggressive move to try to get Lee words working. Um, we have to reinstall this. Come on. Okay, Redis is starting. Uh, and then we gotta start up Nginx. Because I don't remember how to get all this working without using some Nginx. All right. Um, oh. Um, yeah, at some point I need to get a, a Scala language server and all that stuff running so I don't have to have two terminals open. Um, some of these Chuck Cow, Cow saying things are really stupid. Some of them are good, but man, who submitted some of those? I just wonder. Um... All right, so modules, importer, source, main. Oh, that's the terminating directory here. No. Import chess.format. Um, I should not have dove all the way into there. Uh, show data format in modules. I mean, there's got to be somewhere. Yeah, that's if we look for the word format, we're going to get too much information. FBN doesn't sound right, though. Uh, include equals star dot Scala filters this list to just, um, yeah. All right. And then grab B chess. No, grab Chogi. Oh, wait. The Shogi PGN format? What? Truly. Um, how does the game export work? Somehow we were able to export a Kifu. Uh, These are all the things. <clears throat> all right. 
I suppose rather than um, just randomly guessing, I could actually look at the website. Look at a game. Here's a game. Analysis board. Where's the export button? All right, so here's like some Kifu, Sven, and Kifu. So this text here appears in the repository. S-F-E-N. That's perhaps what I need to be searching for. Nope. All right. Okay. Wait. Oh, is this so? I just assumed that they would have created a shogi package instead of a chess one. I guess I'm mistaken. That's strange. Uh, so all these... I wish I could select part of that text instead of having to do this. But, um... All of these keys need to appear somewhere in the code base. Uh... Game created tag. Yeah, so this uh, render as kifu. All right, so there's not a separate module. No, there is a kifu utils. All right, so that's kind of what I was looking for. It's like, show me what you've already done. Um, Kifu Utils is packaged over here. So... Moves is Kifu, tags is Kifu. Wait, what's this last comment? Saigonote. Alright, no idea. Result and termination. Saigonote. Sure. Um, yeah, this says it's Kifu Utils. It's got various constants. It's got a couple functions. Um, really, what you're looking for is something that would take a string and convert it into a move instead of the opposite. Um, okay. Well, it's still good to know this exists, even if it's not what we need at all. Um, incidentally, is this up and running? Since we went through all the effort to compile and run that, does my local Lee Shogi instance actually run? Oh, did we get a response again? What could the response be this time? Okay. Um, I've stopped Docker. Uh, but yeah, I can add that to my script. Um, let's get a third terminal up because you know that's fun. Uh, we words right. Oh, I forgot I have a Lee Shogi user, or at least at one point I did. Um, and that just ended up being too confusing. Something about it didn't work right. All right, so we words. We will augment this script to put that there instead. Um, comment out this other thing. But we will save that for later. OK. 
because that would require me to start Docker again, and Docker is going to conflict on port 80, among other things. So, um, that we found Shogi Utils. We don't need Notepad open anymore. Uh, I was curious if I could get Lee Shogi up and running, given that I've compiled it. Application started for real ZSnap. No, wait. Wait, did this actually start? Or did it crap out? It's this saying, oh, BSON exception fails to handle super... Yeah, okay, my mistake. I can't run this code base right now. Um, my schema's in a weird state. Is there ever an intention to allow variants in the board editor in Leechess? Um, whose intention? You mean like a developer's intention, a maintainer's intention, an intention, a database administrator's intention, a user or player's intention? People have intentions. Um, uh, the only reason I finesse things that way uh, is that, like, I mean, people have asked. Um, I just think uh, one of the motivating factors is if you go actually look, you see that there have been 2 billion standard rated games played. And um, the number of variant games played is not anywhere near 2 billion. Um, so, yeah, we're talking about, like, some very small percentage of functionality or uh, player interest. So it's, even if there is intention, it's just not going to happen. But there could be intention. I don't think intention is the question, though. Sorry to get so argumentative, but... Um, I mean, I'd like to see it, sure. Uh, but I don't have time. Yeah. Well... <laughs> it's not your fault that it's that confusing. Um, so, yeah, there are 578 open issues in the issue tracker. If this were maintained slightly more religiously, maybe if there were, well, I don't know, at most 500 open issues, it might be easier to know which ones are of highest priority. I've actually gone into this issue tracker and started closing some of my own issues just because uh, some of them didn't interest me that much, and I'd only put them in there because players in the forum were so unwilling to file their own issues, so I had to file the issues on their behalf um, in some cases. Um, in other cases, I actually did think like these are legit issues. So, in some cases, like, I've gone in here, filed an issue, closed it, and then the user on the Lee Chess site, who was not willing to file their issue in here, starts commenting and reopening the issue. I'm like, dude, why didn't you just file this in the first place? Why'd you get me involved? I think they think I advocate for them, and I guess maybe I do. But that's kind of funny. Um... So, this additional profile ratings. Okay, yeah, that's a legit issue that deals with real world ratings. Um, not a variant thing. Make board coordinates easier to read? I still believe that's valuable. Study flashcards. Study flashcards. Uh, hang on. Hang on. We're gonna get two birds stoned at once. 
Here we go. I forget, is that like a Trailer Boys reference or something getting two birds, birds stoned at once? Um, somewhere in here, Puzzle Themes opening. Now does this direct, okay, that does direct me to a puzzle. Um, closing in favor of this puzzle themes. And we'll take a brief little screenshot here. Paint. Boop, 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 boop. Do, do, do. Good enough for me. It's not good enough for you. File your own issue. Don't have me do your dirty work. Boop. 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 Closed an issue. Alright, 577 issues remain. Um, how much of that is me being the problem? Uh, let's see. Simul Exhibition TV is a really cool idea. Um, resume game with preset clock. Yeah, it's a legit use case. Could, uh... That would affect people's ability to use leeches for real world tournaments. Um, simultaneous exhibition pre moves. You know what? I like this idea. It ain't happening. Whatever. Forget that. All right. Five hundred seventy six open issues. Um, twenty seven of them are mine. Skip correspondence game is still a usability concern. Uh, this is a defect. This is me being stupid. Uh, I'll own up to that at some point. And actually get it done or make an excuse. Uh, feature request team match. Uh, okay, yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. I can close that. I started a discussion over here. Where's the discussion that I started? Answered, unanswered. Third party tournament manager. Here we go. So we're going to close the issue about having a tournament manager. Um. There we go. Boom. Yeah, that's not a Lee Chess responsibility. 575 open issues. Yeah, um, as for your variant thing, I don't know. I closed like three or four issues right now. I'm actually glad to have done some of this cleanup stuff that I should have gotten around to a while ago. Uh, feature request delete message. I'm curious if I can delete my messages without having to delete my account. I mean, <laughs> this seems straight up like a bug to me. Like, the ability to unsend a message um, should not require you to delete your account. That's pretty embarrassing. Um, but I'm not a maintainer. I don't get to tag the issues. Anyway, um, learn from all of your games. Oh, hang on. Yeah, Puzzles V2, yeah. Wait. Nine days ago, I did read this. I have not, I've been too busy in the last nine days to respond until now. Um, save mistakes from games for the users. Oh! Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> so, on my last live stream, people brought to my attention that you can... Wrong button. You can actually filter puzzles to see from your games. All right. 
Let's say we're closing this again. I think is a satisfactory or yeah solution. Um. Leech us is open source. Well, no, I'm not going to argue that just yet. Uh, perhaps another Leech us developer can correct me if I am overlooking something important here. I am a bit overwhelmed and cannot uh advocate for new issues at this time although i like your feature request um good enough for me all right so we closed like five issues yeah the danger of when people ask me to file their issue for them is that I might not I might cease to advocate for it. So it behooves them to file the issue in the first place and not have me file it. Now they could always go in and file a new issue. That's fine. Um feature requests to require moderators to explain why a topic is closed. Some person in our Lee Chess feedback forum is like, ooh, I need to know the answer. I'm like, okay. Fine. I'm going to say we're going to require moderators as part of closing it to provide an explanation. And then they're like, wait, wait, I didn't really mean that. Uh, I mean that they could optionally be required to provide an option. I'm like, I'm not even going to finesse that. The way I parsed what you told me in the forum, and the only way this is ever going to work is if you require the moderators to do it. And... Yeah, so whatever, this is not going anywhere. I don't care anymore. Sorry. Uh, let's see what other issues are there. Wait, what is this? Draw offer hidden after opponent's move. Um, my opponent made a draw offer on their move. I would have to, the, the, okay. Seems to be the weird to me that the request disappears from the UI while still being active. What does active mean? <laughs> I went for my opponent to make a move and they did. The draw request disappeared from the UI. Um Hmm. <laughs> well, um. All right. Did anybody in this forum topic provide more context about, like, if this is just a brave browser thing? <sighs> yeah, the opponent offered the draw and then made the move like the way you normally do that um well that's disappointing a lot of thought and argument has gone into how draws should work um all right, what do I mean by easier to read? Well, this got filed April last year, and in 300 some days, nobody's given a shit, so we're going to close that. Um, it's just not going to happen. Um... Hmm. <laughs> All right, resuming a game with the preset clock. 
We filed again about 300 days ago. Again, nobody's giving a shit. Let's close it. Stalebot does close these things after a while, but um, so yeah, I think that's probably fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. If I oh sorry, I have not been actively reading chat. I did miss one large message here from Schwartz. Um, I still learn how to use GitHub. I get confused with your small, tight, little file for class. These huge projects seem intimidating. Oh yeah, no, the Lee Chess is not for the faint of heart. Um, I, I would not recommend Lee Chess as a first project to code on. I mean, if you're really looking for a nice, lightweight project to really seek your teeth into, uh, Lee Chess would not be that project. That said, I can think of a project uh, which actually has been fun to work on lately. Wordsmith. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's up and why my patches uh, aren't being accepted by the main maintainer, but I guess I'm, I guess what I've effectively done is created a hostile fork because the, the main project is not under, not being updated. Um, but anyway, yeah, Wordsmith here is a nice small project with some test, well, a singular test really. No, I'm sorry, there is one serious critical flaw with this and that's, the lack of a data file. Uh, there is a zip file if you can figure out how to unlock it. And it's not public knowledge how you unlock that. So this is kind of a problem. But yeah, otherwise Wordsmith is a good project to work on. If you can just get a hold of the right um, folks who can tell you how to unlock the file. Uh, I'm sorry, so I missed Schwartz's comment again. Let me scroll through. Now Bioyomi was added to Lee Shogi. Yep. Yeah. An increment still exists, and yeah, combining those would be confusing. You played some games, and yeah, I have no idea. I'm very confused by... I have not tried to understand that combination. So, yeah, I am quite stumped why that's even possible. Um, but I guess you could set up a game that way. Uh, the site is in beta, so, uh, I don't know, somebody will figure it out if somebody cares. It's confusing for sure. Alright, so we did close a number of Leela issues, and having closed issues, now we're going to get people commenting, Why did you close my issue? And I'm like, okay, because I don't care. Um, so... Um, yeah, I do care about that, but it's not easy to deal with at the moment while being unable to run the site. Um, this importer found the importer class. We will try that at some point. Oh, and we had this site open because we were trying to figure out the exporter stuff. Um, but the import page, it's been delinked. But yeah, if you go to leeshogi.org slash paste, it's probably still mapped. But yeah, paste the PGN text. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, at least the English string here is valid. Paste a game kifu. So. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So the next great mystery we got to figure out. Um, forget this Kifu Utils thing for a second. Uh, here. Uh, so we're not looking for scheduler, but importer. 
And the reason I was looking for the module importer, not the app importer. Um, is because this references chess.format.fen. Chess.format.fen. Modules, chess. Oh, sorry, there's going to be like a source here, right? And then main, and then Scala, and then format. Is there a Sven? No, there's only a Fen here. Why is there no... That's amusing. Um... Okay, so... There's this path. Is there a we show ye modules show ye? Why not? Why would you not create this? Um, let's hop over to our other terminal here. Then in modules, include equals star.scala whoa 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 okay that's a lot of imports i was going to suggest just moving chess.format.fen into uh shogi.format.sven but apparently there are tons of references to this fen thing so let's not break the world right now um so, oops, cd modules cp-ahs to shogi. And so, I mean, that was probably a dumb thing to copy everything wholesale. Um, oops, here. So there's a folder called variant. There's a folder called I can't even read this blue on black here. I can't read that. Still can't read it. Opening? Yeah. Um Yeah, no, I I mean I'm starting on this because I'm like, this is gonna be he says this is going to be easy. Uh, I've been in enough of this Leela code that, like, better than the maintainer, I'm the one who best knows how to do this. And I'm actually quite delighted the maintainer is looking at my pull requests, so I'll do them a favor and try to get this done. Um... Case class spec. Mission accomplished. No, wait. Wait a second. Shogi. Mission accomplished. Okay, we got Sven. That's Gala. Uh, no, I mean, I get. I did all this other crazy stuff that probably should not be the way it is here, but. Um, so Sven is fine. Um, Forsyth Edwards notation doesn't make any sense for this. What the hell is visual.scala? Oh. Oh, that's funny. Uh, does anybody remember how to use a sed with in-place replacement? Um. Oh. Hey! Autocomplete. S. S show e g star dot scala rep chess all right uh that probably works what's an p g n a lot of stuff um, oh, I'm sorry, I should back up one more. 
I'm going to do this set replace thing. Um, stream editor replace all the all the chesses. I I mean there's a way to like recursively list files and all that fun stuff, but this is good enough. Um Wait, um, we're just going to remove the variant folder out right here. And there's still some references to variant in this code. And we don't need any of that. So Oh. Well, that's funny. Um Come back to that later. Actually, yeah, we don't need to set up that Scala. Uh, we'll just call new game when we need it. Uh, status. I'm sorry, perhaps variant end is actually used somehow, despite lack of a reference to the variant package. Um, yeah, where are all our references to variant located now? Replay. Wait, oh. Uh... Huh? Okay, that's supposed to get the name of the variant, which we don't require anymore. Uh, we don't need all these variant references. Oh, what's this? Pipe. I don't know that we need this pipe here. There we go. Wait, why is there a parenthesis at the end of that line? This oh, okay, that situ yeah, that paren meant just that paren. There we go. With variant variant no longer matters. Uh If I were smarter, I would have a better find and replace strategy than that what I that which I'm applying here. It's okay. Um Hang on, what is this? Flat map or Sith pipe variant or situation variant. 
Um, now it's their variant and then underscore, meaning just take the remaining argument. And then there's no need to apply this. I'm sorry, we do need to apply a situ. Oh, hang on. I fucked up. We do need to apply the situation. We just don't need the variant. Yeah. S oh. That's weird. All right. Um. Yeah, the situation refers to the game state. Um, not just the game record itself, but it's other metadata about, like, is the game already drawn? Um, I'm stripping out all this variant code because it'll make... Variant code just confuses everything about this. Um... So, yeah, we don't need lots of references to variant. They're just going to confuse everything. There we go. Now... Ben is now going to be SFEN. There we go. Ben is now SFEN. That was easy. Um, where are there still? Oh, wow. There's a lot of references to variants still. All right. Uh, board.scala. Standard, comma, variant. Hmm. Uh, variant king threatened. There's some other way to figure out if the king is threatened without referencing the variant. We'll come back and figure that out sometime. Um... <laughs> and sure, crazy data. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crazy data. Um, adds crazy house related data to the game state. I don't know if we need that. We might need it. Um,. We'll find out. Variant allows castling. Well, in Shogi, we don't really have to worry about that now, do we? Um, we don't have to worry about unmoved rooks. Um... Yeah, that's going to be fun. Wait. Dollar variant position after. Yep. All right, allows castling. Wait, what? Board pieces to map. If variant allows castling, castles all else castles non comma variant. This gets a lot simpler. Uh, because you don't have any castles in that sense in Shogi. Um, yeah, that's a lot easier. Um, Oh, 
Wow. Okay. Init the variance. Hang on, hang on. Instead of variant dot pieces, there's going to be just some concept of just initializing a board. Um, and to figure out what that concept is, we'll go down here. Um, no, 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 no. Empty is not the same as initializing a board. Um, but instead of calling variant dot pieces, we're going to get the game pieces out of something else. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to just arbitrarily replace the word variant with game and hope it all works. So we have reference to a game here, right? If not, um, I thought we did. We don't. All right, so we undo that change, but being that we don't have a reference to a game variant, um, yeah, we're going to need something to take the place of the variant package. Figure that out. Um, King safety move filter trusted moves or variant allows castling. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is cool. Um, instead of board that variant that king safety is probably just going to be board that king safety. No. No, there's going to be some way, some game engine thing that lives outside of the board class because the board class is already large enough. Um. Trusted moves. Oh, I see. Here's trusted moves. Um, so if I have a zero argument function, how does that work in Scala again? All right. Uh, so is there any way to work on a GitHub project without downloading the entire project? Um, you could just use the web browser. It depends what you mean by work. So like you could go directly to a file and I could say, you know what? I feel today like the file I want to edit is Docker file bot prod. And I could just go in here and hit, you know, I think I want to delete the production configuration. I could just do that. Now, of course, they'll create a pull request and all that jazz, but I could say, you know, I want to edit the production configuration file using the web browser because I'm super confident in my ability to do things without downloading the files. And, you know, maybe I don't want opt program, but I want like, I don't know. Yeah, you, you could do some silly things from the browser editor and GitHub will try to guide you through whatever it is that you're doing. But yeah, I would recommend downloading the code and running it if you want to contribute to projects. It is possible to not do that, but um, I don't know that I'd recommend like actually doing things in the web browser. Yeah. You might be able to, if somehow saving the files somehow triggered a build somewhere. I don't know if there's a good way to do that just yet. Um, 
I do know, like, when they, uh, when Cesar and folks push changes, you see this little check mark here. And so, like, they have all these builds that get triggered. Um, maybe there's a way to test it. Uh, you could just trust the check marks, but, um, yeah, if you actually want to interact with what you're developing, it's probably not that easy. Um, they might know better. That's an, actually a really, really good build system they've got going there. Um, and I don't really know what I'm talking about, but still. Um, yeah. Um, this the board variant is irreversible of move okay that's clever wait what <sighs> casting rights and opposite rights ah uh. Uh, what, what is the purpose of this vacating the position hashes? Why sometimes would you vacate position hashes and other times not do that? Because you're trying to count whether repetitions are occurring. That's why. In Shogi, there's no reason to vacate the game history. Because pieces can re-enter the board. Um, there we go. Um, Apply variant effect. Nope. All right, finalize board. I have to take a look at whatever that is. Uh, castle. Normalize castle. Nope. Nope. No castle thing here. Um, and broken castles. Nope, 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 nope. Wait. Yeah. Half move clock. Wait. There's no notion of a half move clock in Shogi. At least not one that affects the game rules, but we can leave it in. Um, that's actually really funny. No. I'm just going to confuse... Well, yeah, we don't need this half-move clock thing anymore. We don't need unmoved rooks. So... Without castle... 
H2. What? Last move is equals sum of two UCI. Okay, that is so weird. And then we don't need this fixed castles thing at the end either. Uh, all right, what comments now? So, um, what am I doing today? Curing insomnia, saving the world. I don't know. We're doing something, that's for sure. Um, now, is there a thing here called UCI? Uh, is there a thing called USI? And if not, why not? Nobody bothered to make it. All right, uci.scala, where is that? Oh, it's in a different module. Okay, Scala show me uci. Probably should be usi. Um, but I could probably leave this and not overly fixate on breaking the world at this point. Um, whatever. Yeah, this is Lee Shogi and then briefly looking at Scala Shogi and realizing I don't feel like breaking it right now. Um, even though it's going to cause me some confusion at some point where we have a thing called UCI and it's not a chess interface, um, but whatever. Um, all right, so this finalized board concept is in the module that I've created a copy of and deleted that copy. I probably need to figure out where this belongs. Um, all right, where am I again? I'm in the shogi module. I want to go to modules chess variant, no, chess uh, source main Scala variant. And then I want to take a look at variant.scala and see what the definition of finalized board is. All right. Hmm. So the definition of finalized board. So we're going to take a board and make sure that the history is used to determine whether the player is in check. That doesn't need to be in a class called Variant. Um, and then we're going to check for each move. Um, yeah, this with crazy data thing. Get, yeah, I think half of the work I just did is in vain. Uh, it's dawning on me just how complicated this code base is. Um, Hmm. I don't remember all the places I removed references to this finalized board thing. I could trace what they are and reintroduce them, but geez. Um. Yeah, this never belonged in this class. This belongs to some external controller. 
but here this board crazy data thing uh, also entails pieces that are captured that get put into the hand. So I need to reintroduce crazy data as well. And like I said, this is mad science. I'm not pleased with what I've ended up with so far. I'm going to do something. Well, wait, here I am. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to try again. Um, and things will go better the second time around. It's okay. It's fine. Um, I let some... I had done premature optimization here. Alright, so there is a package called Variant. And while we don't need most of these... Um, We really don't. And, uh, let's see. Oh, from position. We will need that. Um, all right. So let's take a look at variant.scala and see what we could strip out. King of the Hill, free check, anti shogi. I'm just not interested in supporting variants this instant. Um, I did remove Crazy House. No, I left it around because I don't know how bad uh, this is at present. Um, Oh, right, then there's this... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't just go removing those files either, can I? I don't know. Because there might be, like, database indexes and shit that actually care what these keys are. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, I can't do that either. Okay. No, that doesn't make sense. There shouldn't be any... Yeah. Um... Alright, so King of the Hill, 3 check, Anti Shogi Atomic, Horde Racing, King of the Out. Um, <laughs> Finalize. Okay, so add variant effect. Um, yeah, add variant effect has no override anymore. So we don't require this to be defined because we're not we don't have a tonic. Uh, we don't need a 50 move counter. We 
don't need to get rid of it either. Um, oh, that's funny. Wait, hang on. The opponent has insufficient material. Yeah, that's always evaluating to false. So we're going to look for functions that always evaluate to false. Um, right, has move effects. That's always false. Um, is insufficient material? Nope. 50 moves doesn't apply to Shogi. Um, stripping that out of whatever. Let's get rid of it. It's irreversible. Yeah, all right. Um, stalemate. Wow. Anyway, that's a situation. Uh, to string is equal to variant of name. Fine. Um, opening sensible variants, sure, whatever. Um, wait, uh, yeah, okay. Shogi does have game phases. They're just not the same as the chess game phases. That's funny. Um, all right. So, blockades. Wait, what? What? Why would we care about the blockades here? Is this meaning a king cannot move to a square if it's occupied? Because we could just say that. Yeah, okay. That's so strange. Wow. Okay, whatever. What is the drawing condition, Shogi? I don't know. Um, no, if, I guess if both players... Wait. Yeah, you know, what is the draw condition in Shogi? If both players conspire to repeat moves forever... Um then if um if one player is not being put in check the entire time i think it's rule to draw um no there is a stalemate it's just a i forget what the outcome is in event of stalemate i don't remember Uh, okay, all these things that are variant specific that remain are the ones that need to remain. Um, yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I don't think Crazy House is ever in use, despite there being this reference to with crazy data. We don't actually use the crazy house class here. So, um, is there anything in this insufficient mating material that I need to be concerned about? I don't think so. Nope. Uh, what do we got left now? Starting position. Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting. So this has all the shogi handicaps built into it. Um, nice. <laughs> the Halloween Gambit. <laughs>
beautiful. Yeah, I think folks would be spooked if they were to see one of these chest things just show up. Um, that's pretty funny. All right. Um, since this is a copy of the original code, I can do whatever I want with it. So, yeah, you're not going to have Halloween there anymore. Um, wait, what is this thing here? Featureable. I don't know where this number comes from, but okay. No, I'm trying to get a game import or Lee Shogi, a Kifu import. And there's just way too much variant code inside this um, package here for me to even start writing the Kifu importer without just constantly tripping over myself. Um, so I'm stripping out pieces of this code related to variants so I could start to write the Kifu importer. Um, we're pretty close. Um, we're going to replace Ben with S Ben. Um, I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is a third layer. Okay, fine. So if any one of those has a S pen. Those are also replaced. Um, get check out the game. Kifu import get add Shogi net um, define module Shogi. All right. I probably messed that up, but that's my checkpoint. Um, none of that's going to compile. We already know this, but um. Oh, plus, even having the Shogi module is not going to work. Uh, <laughs> damn it. How does this... No, it's not under Git modules. Isn't there, like, an SBT project or something that I have to, like... There's a project file here somewhere where it defines which modules are imported. Um, where is this project thing? Build that SBT, perhaps. So yeah, in addition to all these modules, we're gonna need Shogi as a module. And just for completeness sake, let's build it before chess. Um, or after, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, let's build chess before Shogi. Why not? Uh, I don't know how to deprecate a thing, but consider chess deprecated. Uh, wait. Common. It's gonna include Shogi. All right. No. Now, applying that find or replace strategy would result in Shogi appearing too many times, so... Uh, I 
actually, it's not the case that all those require shogi at all, but... Um, all right, what else might require this shogi module? I don't know. Um... Oh, that's funny. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just not going to touch that. Not if I want my pull request to ever be considered seriously. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, let's check out the README. Oh my goodness, really? Whatever. This is... I don't have to worry about that. That doesn't affect the build. Oh, thanks for pouring water on the Discord Sparks tonight. Oh, what did I do? I'm trying to remember. Um, I must have done something. I must have done something. Oh, yeah, I tried to change the subject for more. I see, that's what they were trying to talk about. I'm like, why are you guys talking about all these countries? We got like open source software, let's have some fun. Um, that makes sense. Um, so that's why they were bringing up, here's this country and this country, and ooh, let's really talk about contentious stuff. And then there's this region of the world, and, like, they're not autonomous, and whatever. Like, if you are trying to pick a fight, at least, yeah, those folks should be honest about it. Like, yeah, I, I, it's not just that I want to talk about a country. I want to talk about the merits of some particular war. Then, okay, fine, talk about it. This proxy language stuff is just... Not productive so yeah all right any bets on whether this blows up <laughs> uh yeah i would not give this a very good probability of actually compiling oh Oh wow, so I missed the fun part of it then, I guess. Hey look, it didn't compile. Wait, no, I thought I said a red, saw a red circle here somewhere. Well. Oh, that's funny too. Node modules cannot access. Okay, whatever. That's the asset, uh... Build assets, assets, build server. Yeah, how's our build server step going? Open JDK 14. Wait, does this actually... No, this just does a stage build. It doesn't actually stage things, even though it uses the word stage. Man, I'm curious if it builds. Um, but yeah, we got a decent start. We can see here I created this branch Kifu import. Anybody can check out this branch. Oh, is this based on some older version of code, perhaps? Um...
I don't remember whether or not uh, I updated before doing any of this. No, I'm, I was synced before I created this branch. So this is just one commit ahead there. Um, so yeah, we can look at this and see, hey, look, I added all these classes and whatever. Uh, eventually, this might help somehow with... Oh, I'll check out all that stuff I added accidentally. There might be references to chess somewhere in some of this, so probably all these references are bogus. I don't know. Probably should have uh, searched this for chess before I did any of that. It's not too late for me to go back and correct my error, right? Fuku import. Modules, shogi, rep, press in current package. Um, if we just search for Scala files, okay, that's a lot of chess. Um, so we can go, where is my sed command? I probably should start typing sed. Um, what? That was a valid replacement, was it not? Oh, I guess not. I didn't actually do the autocomplete step. Alright, so... Now, there was some other said I thing in my community. So, yeah, here it is. So. Who knows what fun replacements I've just caused by doing that. I mean, we could just look at the dip. Yeah, look at all the stuff I changed. So, we'll see. Oh, well, that's not going to compile, because look, there's like racing variants or whatever. Yeah, that test will fail. Um, all right, where are we located now? Test Scala. Oh, there's actually Scala files in the current directory. I thought I was up a level. Or rather, I thought I was at such a level that... I would never find um, stuff to replace in the current working path. Uh, wow. So I'm just doing all kinds of awesome work here. Um, get status, get RM, racing kings, get RM. Anti chess get RM atomic. Uh, what else? Forward. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, there are variants. I thought there were more variants than that, but I said I was not going to try to support at this time. Oh. 
Uh oh. Crazy House has this castling dependency thing. Okay, whatever. Um, we don't need to test for that. Um, okay, that's a chess position for sure. Chess positions don't need to appear in the Shogi package. Um, I mean, I guess there theoretically could be a draw in Shogi by material if you set up the board incorrectly and both players have only a king. If you did that kind of really stupid thing, I guess there could be something to test for in terms of a automatic draw. Um, but nobody's doing that. And it should be easy enough to repeat a position even if you got into that situation. Um, so these are all tech test fixtures, right? Um, what? Wait, where'd the lance go? Is this seriously? Well, that's sad. Uh, okay, we don't need that file. So this might have some chance of compiling, but probably not. What comments have I looked at? Someone breaks the site by setting up, yeah. Just ask them not to do that. Yeah, or if they want to play king versus king on a completely direct board, they're welcome to play it as long as the site doesn't break. And if they do break the site, well, it was in beta anyway. Um... Yeah, so we found the importer, um, answered that question already. Uh, I've already got Macondo open once here, right? No, this is Lee Words. We've got Macondo open twice. We don't need two instances that open. Yeah, so I think we have cured insomnia. Um, it's been a fun little session here, but it's probably time that I get some more rest. Um, yeah. So, this is all pushed here. Uh, if I had channel points, we could predict the number of minutes until a build error occurs. But, I don't do channel points because they're too addictive. And I've been informed that, like, channel points are somehow related to, like, gifts and subscriptions and that kind of thing and spending money through Twitch and it's just not a big fan of money being spent through Twitch at the moment just because they're owned by Amazon and like I'm not the greatest Amazon fan ever to put it mildly um, but yeah anyway uh, yeah, it's been a fun little session. Um, Kifu import will probably depend on the stuff I've done here, so... Defining a Shogi module seems like an important step. Um, 
once you've got a shogi module, then you can start doing things like parsing notation, building a board, etc. But yeah.